Welcome to October's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is rotate array. Given an array, rotate the array to the right by k steps, where k is non-negative. And they wanted to see if we can come up with an O of 1 extra space solution. Uh, there's, they say there's um, lots of solutions. So let's go through three like they asked. So the first thing we might think is, all right, well, we have k. k might be greater than the length of nums. So in order to combat that, I am going to do a modular and say k modular length of nums. And that way we don't need to worry about um, these repeats like cycles and stuff. So the very first thing I thought was maybe we can do something like nums equals nums um, uh, to negative k plus nums negative k, uh, something like that. And I thought this might work, but unfortunately this doesn't because this becomes, I guess this becomes like a local variable or something like that. It doesn't do it in place. So in order to take care of that, you have to do some hacky stuff and use like some built-in methods. One way you could do that is to first, let's say, store our information into um, a temp and we'll say nums, get from negative k, this is going to be what needs to be added to the front, right? And then we're going to have to delete off our nums the whatever we just removed here, negative k, or I shouldn't say negative k, negative x in case it's greater. And then we need to add back to our nums. And you can do that by adding to the slice like this. Uh, just make that equal to 10. And that would be it. Let's see if this works. So I think that works. Let's go and submit that. And that does get accepted. But this is pretty hacky, right? I, I don't know if you would remember, oh, there's this delete here and you, you can add to the slice. Um, so let, let's kind of forget about this one. Uh, what are some other ways we can do it? Well, we can use extra memory and we'll say, I guess we'll call it temp and we'll say, we're going to generate a new array here and we'll say nums i for i in range of length of nums and we'll create this temp list and we'll then we'll say for i in range of length nums what we're going to do is update through our nums let's see uh, the i plus um, I guess we okay so I I plus the k modular length of nums, I believe. Okay, and that's kind of like shows the position of mod that we've shifted, and this will make equal to our temp i. And let me make sure this works. Not positive. Okay, great. So this one does work. And accept it. So basically, this is using extra memory. Personally, I think this is the best solution, but they said, hey, can you do this in place without using extra memory? Okay, so let's look at this example here and I'm gonna shorten it just a little bit. Uh, let's say that we want to move this two places, right? What's that gonna look like? Well, that's gonna look like uh, 4-5, one, two, three, right? Now let's try reversing this entire array and see if there's any pattern that we could come up with. Okay, it uh, doesn't really look like there is, but hold on. At this second position here, let's just say we reversed 4 and 5. And here from index 2 to 4, reverse that. Then this actually is this answer. Isn't that interesting? Like, um, it's kind of unintuitive, but if you reverse the whole list and then reverse at the positions that we need, it actually ends up shifting, like as if we've taken the part that we want to shift to its position. Oh, so that's great because we know how to reverse and we could just calculate the X point that we already have here and just reverse those two two points, right? Okay, so let's go with that. Let's first write a 
reverse method. Well, I have to call that re rev because reverse is actually a built-in function. So, okay, reverse while s is less than e. What do we do? We just swap the nums s and nums e with nums e and nums s. Oh, and we increase our s and we decrease our e. So, okay, now we have our function. We've already calculated x here, so let's first reverse our nums. That's built in, so just reverse the whole thing. Then let's call our reverse function. And what do we pass in? We want to pass in 0 to x. I actually think it's x plus 1. All right. Wait, sorry, I need <laughs> 0, so 1, 2. If I pass in 2, 5. 2, 0, 1, 2. Oh, okay, I think it's actually minus 1. Minus 1. And here it'd be x to the end length of nums minus 1. Okay, so I'm not sure if I got that right. Let me see here. Oh, okay, looks like it did. Let's go submit that. And accepted. That's awesome. This is constant space. And how fast is it? I guess it's still OVEN, right? All right, so thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.